that you can hear me. Good morning to the morning chat um, here at According to Akara. The morning chat is a show where I give you my morning thoughts, my morning devotions, my auntie wisdoms, or just my aha moments, or let me tell you a funny story, <laughs> okay? Uh, in hopes that maybe that you don't feel so alone, let you know that it's going to be all right. Auntie Akara says, it's going to be all right, okay? It's going to be all right. I know it seems like your world is crumbling up behind you, around you, but I promise you, it is never that bad, okay? So, again, welcome back for those who are watching afterwards and those who may chime in later on. Morning announcements. So I, as you can tell that I am doing this video this morning from my home again, and but I do need to go into my nine to five, but I decided to, instead of doing the car chronicles again, um, I want to get back into doing it from home um, because, real talk, I have reached out to some coffee companies and stuff like that. And um, I have marketed us being a show, the morning chat being a show on both YouTube and IG mainly. And it can't be on both of them if I'm only on one. <laughs> so unfortunately, until I can get me two harnesses in my car, this morning chat is going to be done before I go into work each day. Um, I'm a, uh, the attempt is to do earlier than this, about 7 o'clock, 6.30 to 7 or 7 to 7.30, at the very latest, 7.30 to 8. But um, morning, I, I will tell you in the morning announcements what time that I have settled on to do my morning chat. Uh, uh, uh. So... What is the topic today? So that's the end of the morning announcements. Um, what did you do on your holiday weekend? Did you rest? Did you work on your side gig? Did you spend time with family? Did you go on vacation? I hope you all did some of that because I did. <laughs> I used my weekend, my holiday weekend to really sew into this podcast um and into this blog and youtube show that where i am now got me an email template for to to reach out to companies to collaborate in a brand deal on the show and i i actually reached out to three people three companies and rosie coffee actually called me like first of all i didn't give you my phone number <laughs> First of all, I didn't give you my phone number. But second of all, I say that is like to me one of the things I'm te I am learning and I am visualizing and what you would call manifesting is seeing myself as a money magnet. Not you know I'm, I'm not trying to steal people's money, but money is attracted to me. I don't chase the bag. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. Um, I talked about, no, that was the main subject, to chase the bag or not to chase the bag. And I was saying, like, you know, thank you. I see you there, Davis. Thank you. Thank you for all the hearts. Uh, <laughs> um, and my desire is to have the bag chase me. The bag is going to chase me. Okay. I'm not chasing nobody's bag because the love of money, you know, you'll find yourself doing some crazy stuff for the love of money, marrying an old man and, and trying to kill him off by doing too much, you know, or an old lady or an old lady, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, so... Yes, I, I completely don't want to be chasing the bag. I want to make myself so attractive. Well, actually, I don't even have to because God loves me. So he's going to make sure everything is taken care of. He promised me that 
Everything that I need, he shall take care of. He shall provide all my needs according to glorious riches in heaven. I believe that's in uh, Ephesians 6. Go look it up for yourself. He shall provide all you need. Now, of course, that was after the... Uh, maybe it's in Philippians. <laughs> uh, it's after a church had, had given to Paul. Not because he asked them to give, but he they gave as a way of like I'm gonna help my boy, my boy out. We're gonna collect some money and we're gonna send him money and send him food and stuff for his journey because we believe in his his mission. Okay. And only God could put that on people's heart to give you money and to support you. It really ain't you. It, it, it really ain't you. It's, it's usually, it's God. It's God that, and so, you know, I believe in this person's dream. And so I sent out my three little brand deal, my first emails out, and I actually got a response because, <laughs> you know, you know, I'm new. I'm new at it. The first one I sent out, I didn't even send it to their email. I sent it to, um, in their message on their w website, they have a messaging system to talk to them. So I put it in there. But I forgot to put my media kit in there. Ah, oh, you know, I felt so like, ah, ah. And then they called me and I didn't know it was them. And sent me an email and it said, you know, hey, can you send your media kit so I can see, you know, a little, read a little bit more about you. So, I mean, either they will or they won't. Um, but I want to get back to this because it's a coffee company and, you know, I want any company that I reach out to to see that, hey, I'm a morning show, I drink coffee, it would be really good for me to be saying, and drink so-and-so's coffee. I am feel so much better because I do da-da-da-da, and I go there, and I just get me my bag of beans, and, and I just enjoy the so-and-so's coffee. And when I don't want to be in the house and I just want to go to somewhere and have me a great cup of coffee, forget Starbucks. Join me at so-and-so. That's where I want to be putting in that brand. And that would just excite me so much, you know, to actually get a brand. And not because they will be paying me, but because it's like, oh, my God, I got a brand deal. So I feel like I could do it. But if they don't, it's still an experience, and I'm going to keep on putting it out there until I get a better, but step by step, step by step, step by step, and step by step. So I'm so excited about that, um, that happening and me getting that. So, yeah, or at least getting a response. Now, the two others, it'd be nice if they responded to and said, like, I'm interested. I, I support a small podcast or something like that and you know we'll pay you a little blankety blank for to to do commercial you know what i'm saying to sponsor our product on your show come on here so i'm so excited about that also i did complete my brand packet during the vacation or during the holiday um i i completed that i'm so happy that I, I completed my media kit, my brand kit. Um, I took some photos. I didn't get a, a photographer. I just used my phone, click, 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 click. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put on my little little stick and, and took a few pictures sitting here in my element. So that is so exciting to me, just doing it, you know? Now I like to the next thing that I like to achieve is to officially see if I get an interview for my single and satisfied. There's a person that I'm I'm looking to um interview that's really interesting. Um I I watch him on TikTok and he be really dropping some real knowledge when it comes to just relationships and what you know you wouldn't think that guys be like this but he's he be dropping some knowledge and he he's coming across as he's a saved individual too so yeah yeah 
I like to try to get that guy. Matter of fact, I ain't going to try. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Anything I put my mind to and God blesses my my actions, I'm going to get that interview. You okay? I'm, I just... I, I was just going to get that interview with them. And the next thing is, oh, and I forgot to do it. I meant to post in uh, one of the author pages on Facebook to see I'm seeking my next book that I'll be reading for bedtime stories. That's the only thing I failed to do. And, I, and I, you know, I kind of got caught up in all the other stuff. And let me tell you, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> my cousin, after three years of not talking to her, she reached out to me yesterday. Girl, girl, I got my I got my cousin back. I am so freaking excited about back to talking to her and we kind of squash whatever problem. And that's usually how it is between me and this specific cousin you know we kind of squashed that beef uh i mean and i don't really it wasn't beef i just gave her her space i feel like she she felt violated and the best thing okay so auntie tip if a family member or some a person distances themselves from you respect the distance Respect the distance. You cannot make them like you again. You know, if they want their space, agree with it. Don't try to argue with it. Don't try to push it. Just like, okay, I respect your space. Let them have their space. Okay? They'll respect you, and they'll come back if it was meant to be a relationship, a friendship. You know what I'm saying? They're going to come back. You know, because granted, I miss her. <laughs> I miss her. I ain't going to lie. I miss my cousin. This is the cousin that, like, a lot of major things happen with her. And she is, she can be a bit much like I can. I do know this. Like she's the one that would call me at three o'clock in the morning and forget, girl, you are in Arizona. I am in Georgia. Okay. The three hours difference. It is three o'clock in the morning. It's nine there. It's three here, you know, or whatever. The situation is the time difference. She's pretty good about knowing the time difference, but it is so nice to have reconnected with my cousin. Again, she's she is my talk buddy. She she is, me and her are the same when we get into our bag about talking about stuff. And that's why I so much wanted to have her as my co-host on these podcasts because our conversations be fire. Like we literally caught up on everything and she did it like perfectly like an interview person, but she does not want to be on camera. So I'm like, ah, oh, I hate it. Maybe I have to put her on the the voice, just the podcast. None of, you know, whatever. You don't have to show your face. You you don't even have to show your, you don't even have to say your name. You can have a, a, a but it'd be good. I mean, she was so good. At, girl, had you heard about, mm-hmm, 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 girl, yes, right. You know, and, and did you hear, I said, this probably is not true. But did your pastor say, you know, forget all my preaching about prosperity from before and burn all my old books? And I was like, girl, yeah, I was there. I was there. He, he, he admitted that what he preached on on tithing and stuff like that was wrong. I knew it before because I read my Bible. <laughs> okay. I read my Bible. Okay. <laughs> I read my Bible. I, I just don't believe what whoever preached to me. You know, I was like, ah, I see what you're saying, Pastor, but it's like, mm-hmm, I am. But I'm going to stick beside you. I'm going to stick beside you because I'm loyal. And I know how to cook chicken hard the first time. Okay? Hello. 
I know how to cook chicken hard the first time. So, yeah. Um, so I, I stick beside him, and, you know, and I prayed. And he, he began to understand, open his mind. I have to go to him and say, the Lord told me you was a lie about the time. You know. <laughs> so, yeah, that part. So that it was so really good to catch up with a cousin that I hadn't spoke to who like we've been through a lot together apart. You know what I'm saying? And um it's all good. But yeah, Auntie Tip, let people if, you know, cause she wrote me this whole letter and I was almost offended and I wanted to say something and God said, Cara, respect her distance. Let her respect it. That just respect that if she doesn't want, I get it. If I hurt you, even though it wasn't intentional, it was never intentional. Sometimes you hurt people and you don't even know you hurt them. You know what I'm saying? And if you did, you just respect their space and let them come around. You know, and if they never come around, just respect this. You know, I respected your space. You said you did. You needed time. Okay. You got it. Matter of fact, I had a dream similar to that where I was um, I, a friend, uh, someone who was my friend, and I was saying to him, I, I love you. I'm not in love with you. I love you. That is the best place to be when it comes to me in relationships. Not I'm in love with you because soon as I fall out and it was like, it was, the dream was like, he was dating a, a, a young lady and he was felt a way, he wasn't sure how to break it to me because he, in his mind, thought that I was in love with him and that I would feel some type of way that he's dating some other woman. And I'm like, you know, if you love her, then I love her. You know, I'm a friend. I'm here with you regardless. I don't think she's the best for you. Okay. Okay. She might not be the best, but I, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say that to you. I'm just going to be here, be your friend, you know, and I'm going to love her as long as you say you love her. But the day she turns on you, I'll be right there with the, with the blade flattening her tires, which, Okay. That's the type of friend that I aim to be. Like, yeah, okay, so you got, uh, you get married or something, and now your husband is your best friend, as they he should be. You know what I'm saying? And I miss my best friend, and I'm, I'm really directing that directly to my sister, who was my travel buddy. Yo, I could call her three months before going somewhere and say, yo, you want to go to Vegas? Hell Yeah. And we could be in Vegas in three months. You know what I'm saying? Um, my best friend. I, I I was sad when she got married. But I was also happy because she has a new travel buddy. She has a new best friend. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, give it a while. I'm, But I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still strong. And I love my brother-in-law. I really do. You know what I'm saying? And I'll get my time with my sister back. Trust me. Once them kids grow up... <laughs> <laughs> the boys grow up and you know she gonna be like okay i'm going on sister cruise i need a break i know you do sis i know you do and guess what as long as i'm breathing i'm wrong be like i'm right with you let's go let's go let's go you know you know i know you gotta arrange for a babysitter and stuff shoot bring your husband because i'd rather love you than be in love with you because you can fall out of the way you fall in love, you can fall out of love. I'm that friend that's right here. Like, hey, girl, uh, uh, I know I made you mad. I'm going to back up. I'm going to leave I'm gonna leave you alone. Or you made me mad. Just give me some space. I need some space. I can't talk to you no more right now. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if I want you back in my life. Let me get some space. And, you know, I like to be a friend like that. And I like to have friends. It's like they give me my space. Okay, they give me my space. They give me my space. But we can pick right back up after years of not talking. That's what a real friend is. A real friend is like, well, I know you, you're doing this or you're working on your career or whatever, so we can't really talk as much as we used to. But when we do, 
we pick right up where we left off and that's love okay that's real love you know even it's like if you're happy even if it isn't with me if it's uh, the opposite sex of somebody else that's real love it's like you don't have to be with me but I know this person isn't good for you because they are in love with you and they will fall out of love with you and where I love you okay I'm not going to fall out of love with you and I'm not going to leave you without you know making sure you okay you know when I say leave you not like forever but like if I go if I need a break I need to give me some space I'm going to stay because I love you I'm not leaving you and that's the type of friend that's the friend like you made me mad but who messed with my friend off <laughs> you know what I'm saying I, I'm still gonna be there and I would want you to still be there with me and I've experienced that with some people and it's a very 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 small, small circle that I can do that with and have done that with me where they slack a car you really hurt my feelings give me some space and you're like okay and I gave them their space and we are good friends still you know what I'm saying I know that I, I'm not going to do that with that person again you know what I'm saying you learn and grow if it's meant to be you know and um that's what I want and that's what I'm I'll get even in a husband if that is God's will for me to get married because it might not even be God's will for me to get married you know what I'm saying I don't know I'm really enjoying being single <laughs> I really am I really am enjoying being single. I mean, there's sometimes where I get a little lonely, but I enjoy being single. So, boom. People need their space or they tell you what it, who they are. Believe it. Believe who they are and give them the space that they need. So, um, that is it. I went over a little bit more than I wanted to, but... I told you when I get at home, that 20 minutes turns into 30 real quick. Um, all right, so that's all I have for you. Come back tomorrow for the morning chat and um, follow me on all platforms. Keep me in your positive thoughts and prayers. And remember, love yourself, love your neighbors, and stay authentic.